Friday's talks were devoted to migration, more specifically the ongoing problem of Belarus pushing migrants towards the borders with Poland and Lithuania. EU leaders are calling it a hybrid attack and promised more sanctions and the strengthening of external borders. But the Commission said it won't pay for physical barriers. And indeed there was um, a discussion on the so-called physical infrastructure and I was very clear that there is a long-standing comma uh, in the Commission and with the European Parliament that there will be no funding of barbed wire and walls. Eastern member states won't like that. On Poland, the issue of the primacy of EU law and the independence of the Polish judiciary will take a long time to resolve. But most leaders said talking was the best way forward, with improving the independence of Polish judges emerging as the EU's priority. Threats of withholding EU money and further legal challenges are still on the table. For German Chancellor Angela Merkel, this was her 107th EU summit, and probably her last. Behind the scenes, she was given a glass statue, and EU Council President Charles Michel said future summits without her would be like Rome without the Vatican or Paris without the Eiffel Tower. She focused on the work she has left undone. We also have a range of unresolved problems, and the task facing my successor is monumental. For more than 15 years, Merkel has been the EU leader most capable of diffusing crises and suggesting solutions, of bridging divides and creating consensus. Future summits may be more difficult without her. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World.